All right, so we're going to continue on with this Westie. I've been fitting this cabinet in here. Again, you guys didn't see. We got the head banger in. The door panels I already made myself. Uh, we got this thing in place here. I might move the bracket over a little bit on that to get it centered. I got the hinges in. They're kind of weird. I'll show you how they go on. They go... I didn't even know because I've never seen these before. I don't know. So they go like that. If you can kind of see this part mounts onto there. And then these two have the bed pieces or the seat pieces on it. One part of the seat goes that flips up that way. Goes on this one. And the one that's on the part you sit on goes on that. We'll see how that they go on exactly in a minute. Or at some point. But right now, I'm looking at um, the cabinet doesn't quite fit. And it's not, again, it's probably not their fault. Now, if you can look at my metal work in the corners, it isn't so perfect. That one's not the greatest there. And I have these two heater humps, which I don't know if they're supposed to be cutouts there or not. But we'll cut those out. Other ones I've looked at didn't even have this board on the bottom, but that sure does make it a lot stronger, in my opinion, having this board here. So, and it makes it nicer when you put your when I put the carpet back down. Uh, I'm gonna have carpet on here and padding because that helps bring the noise down. It's one of my little things. Everybody gets gets that noise stuff, and it's like put carpet padding on it, and you'll be surprised how much that does. In itself so those things are there I don't know I guess I'll kind of make them like that maybe I don't know start with something like that and then um, see what happens let's take a look actually I think that might be better all right let's look at what's going on now we're right now so just so you guys can see how this process goes this is how these things go in here and when you line up this hole right here this should be mounted flush and it's still it's still it's a half inch up right now but and then that part goes on the top like that so if you're wondering how these things go I did not know and then it still has these there so I think these line up with let me get you guys in the camera here. <laughs> it still has he's here, and it's still, and those things kind of line up with those, if you can see, kind of. It looks like they line up pretty good. So, anyway, but I've got to, so what I've got to do now is, you can see that's all the way back. It's all the way back. And I've still got, looks like about a quarter of an inch to go. So I think what I'm going to do is do this here. So I put tape on there, and I'm going to cut off. I mean, it can be further, so I, I mean, I can go to a half inch off of that so that it has plenty of room. And then anything else I can taper a little bit if I have to. This one here, you can see it's hitting on the bottom, so I just need to taper that versus trying to take more off. This one here is fine. So that's because I took more off of that one, I think. But, and then I might need to still do some more trimming here. Once I get that off. So, I you mean, know, there's no way, no two buses are the same back here. No two buses are the same. So, what, you know, it's just got to be fitted. So, that's, that's the process. And it just takes a while. So, anyway, we'll get on with it. All right, so I used my snap press and made this leather piece. This leather's a little stiffer than I wanted. It's really kind of a, it's not like real cowhide leather. It's kind of crappy. But I used this leather, uh, the uh, snap press, like that. And I'll tell you a little trick if you ever have to drill, have to do real thick leather like this. Um, always just take a drill and drill the holes first, pre-drill it. And then when you use the snap press, it'll snap in really good and make sure it's really tight because 
if it doesn't you'll see in there side in there I don't know if you can see what will happen is that thing won't well, it didn't get it all the way around but pretty good you'll have issues with that and the snap will fall off so make sure you pre-drill it All right, so I got this thing here I gotta fill in. I don't know what that is. Inch and five eighths looks like. Here. Inch and five eighths down there. Yeah, well that's to here, so that'll give me, uh, you know, if I hook it, it's gonna be the, uh, it's gonna give me an extra eighth. So it's like, uh, inch and three quarters really tight yeah, maybe I can do really tight it might fit I can always shave it I guess it's kind of the method I've been using shave it if I need to all right that's what I ended up with there had to taper the ends had to grind some off that end down there look because my metal work was not perfect so to get it to be in there a little filler piece I'll sand that out and give it a little lacquer and then uh, hopefully the cabinet fits right you know it's different wood too this is alder and that's birch so it'll be all right though it's fine it's gonna get a mat that's gonna cover all that Ooh, this is a lot of work Let's see. He's out. All right, so the next thing I'm doing is putting this thing in like this. What I'm going to do here is just mark the holes real quick. I drilled them out a little bit, made them bigger. I got it, I think, where, where it should be. I got a little bit of a reveal right here because the thickness of the cloth. Anyway, I'll mark them up, let you bring it back in. So there's what I got there. And I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm thinking that's going to be, you know, laying on there and stuff. If I put wood screws in there, I think that would be a short-term deal. So I'm going with carriage bolts like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that, you know, that Harbor Freight. Uh, we use it for airplanes and stuff like that, the epoxy, the clear stuff. I'm going to epoxy these in place so there'll be studs sticking out on the bottom. Then I'll just put my nuts on because once I get done, this is all going to be upholstered, right? The top of this. So I figure if I've got the studs sticking out, um, that's a way to go in their carriage bolts. So you won't, you know, mess up the foam. All right, so I'll bring you back in. I'm going to drill those out. I'll bring you back in. All right, so I put these things on. What I did is I just set this down where it's supposed to be when it's all the way out. Can't work it with one hand. But you uh, open it up and then set it where it's supposed to be. And I just put the bracket in place and just mark the holes on one of them with a magic marker then measure where it was and put the other one up the same place. On these, I just use these uh, number 10, uh, wood screws that I had so I just went with those now I'm going to suggest that these here I put in with the epoxy and I'm having trouble getting the things to line up I'm going to use I think I'm going to take those out I'm not sure 
I'm going to use these on the bottom because they work um, since I've already done it. And I'm going to put nut certs in on the top when you use just bolts to bolt it in. The reason I'm going to do that is because it's just too hard to line it up. Get them to line up and go in the holes, it doesn't seem to want to do it. But on these, it, it, this one that lined up good. But it just trying to drill in a perfect hole on wood, it just wants to walk just a little tiny bit when you start to drill it. And that makes a difference. It doesn't just want to go in the holes. So rather than fight it, I would put nut certs in and then put in quarter inch instead of these. I don't know what I put, 8 millimeter or M8s in here. Or I put in 5 16ths. I can't remember. But I think it came with smaller ones like quarter inch. So probably should have went with that. But in hindsight, that's what I would recommend to someone else doing it. But now I've got to change all those over. We'll be getting into that here pretty soon. And then at least we'll get this part of the seat done. So I switched to using these. Of course, I butchered up the wood a bit trying to get the old ones out because uh, I would say these quarter inch ones are going to be like this. You hammer these in the wood and then just put the screws in there and epoxy them in. Definitely epoxy them in. Don't forget to do that. Um, just I just use this Harbor Freight stuff, you know. It's just like, I don't know what the epoxy is. We used to use, air, used, to, used to build airplanes. I used to, man, it was a lot of fun when we were younger. Anyway, I'm going to put these in now. You get these on Amazon. They're cheap. And uh, then I'm going to drill this one. I'm going to put another support on this back seat back. I don't know if it had one. This goes on the other side of this, but I'll just cut this and put it on there. All right, let's check it out. Seems to be working. I still got to put the upholstery on it, obviously. Just kind of put it like that. And it works like that. A little bit tilty, maybe. Is this thing in the right place? Yeah. Seems like it is. I guess if you have your head up here or back there, your feet down here, it's not going to matter much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make. I got the foam coming so we'll do all the upholstery in one video I think but yeah it works good let's check it out now then I've got a yeah, it's you can get up in get it in here let's see get up in there like that just if you want to it's got a lot of space and I've got that brace on there kind of help you guys see if you're looking at yours trying to figure it out um, you do end up with not a lot of space here now let's look at this look at how close that is I mean that is whoo it's on the tightness right there so yeah I might maybe I'll I could maybe bend the brackets a little bit and kind of push it over, maybe. I don't know if it will. But it's really close on that. But anyway, it gives you a larger bed than the original one. I don't think I can do it one-handed. Ah, Look at that. Did it one-handed, even. It works good. Now, I haven't got all the bolts in here, and they're going to be tricky to get in. Uh, I've tried to I would say if you're gonna do this See I messed up and I should have put in the quarter inch studs and I put the 5 16 or or uh, 8 millimeter one of the two I can't remember what I ordered. I didn't put the quarter inch ones in up here uh, I would recommend if you're gonna do it use quarter inch smaller ones and then you might still have to wallow out the holes a little bit so that You can move it around a little bit because there's you need some wiggle room because it's really hard to get those in. So I'm going to have a heck of a time once I get the seat upholstery on. It's going to take two of us to get each one of those to line up. But it should work. So anyway, it's pretty neat though. It's pretty cool to have that bed in. That was a lot of work. I mean, literally this has been a couple hours here and there for a few weeks now. So it took me a long time to do that. 
putting things on, taking them back off, you know, stuff like that with the bolts didn't line up right. Or it's not because it wasn't made properly, it's because these bra you know, just trying to put the bolts in with these brackets. My drill walked a little tiny bit. I'm drilling the holes. So it needs a little more wiggle room. All right, that's it for that. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Keep your eye out for the next one. We're gonna put the upholstery in here. I'm gonna clean this whole thing up. I got some carpet for down here. I'll show you that stuff while we're while we're resting. They were out of the cut pile, so I got this loop, which is really cool looking. It's a nice looking loop. So I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put an edge around it, like almost a leather edge look around it, like a vinyl. And then I'm gonna put that in there. Hopefully I can do it and stitch it straight. We will see. I'm not the greatest at sewing, so I'll try and get it in there as best I can. And they had this in a wide enough length. A lot of times they only have this in, a lot of times loop only comes in like 36 inches and this was like 50 something inches or 60 full size so anyway got that coming we'll see that get in there maybe here's the vinyl oh yeah i got this i'll show you that that's all i got for vinyl right there go with that that'll go with those curtains really cool it looks like the original kind of goes really well with this wood and with what's on the curtains you see there the little yellow there right here it's going to look trick, man. Talk to you in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe.